Hi, it's Mr. Omara here, and in this quick tutorial, we're going to have a look at changing your sprites. As you can see on this game, we've got the cat that moves left and right, and we're just using the one sprite. One very easy thing we can do is to create a flipped version where we've turned it around horizontally. So I've got two images, one called cat and one called cat flipped. So let's have a look at how we program this. So I've up here, I've got my sprites. I've got sprite cat. I'm going to create a new sprite, which is called um, sprite underscore cat underscore flipped, which it would help if I spelt that right. Okay. I'm just going to load up my sprite, uh, go to my desktop where I'd actually save this image. In fact, why don't I just start typing cat flipped PNG. There we go. Um, remove background and bring it in. Good. It's looking good. So now I've got that sprite. So what I'm going to say is that for the cat object, you can see my movement things here. When we start moving, when we press left, we start moving in that direction. What I'm going to do is go down to this thing in the second tab called change sprite and change sprite to sprite cat flipped so that when I go left it will turn into the backwards cat um, but what I also need to do is if I want it to be then the right or the original cat when I go right I'll need to go in and tell it that as well so we turn it into cat there we go so I've basically given it instructions when particular things happen. So you could do if there's a collision that you change it to a different sprite where it shows damage or it might turn into an explosion. You know, there's a whole lot you can do with this by way of introducing some kind of um, animation to make it less static. So I'd encourage you to have a look at this, but let's see what it looks like. So here we are in the game. And if we look, we turn left and he's going that way and we turn right and he's going that way. So it's not terribly sophisticated animation, but it adds a level of sophistication to the game. And by combining that with the right events, you could get some really interesting results.